Hi, Sayın. Hi, Sai. Good morning. Hello. Sorry, is it audible to you? Hello, can I start the session? Hello. Hello.
Heine geht. Can anyone tell me, is it audible to you or not? It's Okay, let us start the session. In, in yesterday's session, we, we have discussed about creation of table and inserting the data into table. Now, today we will discuss about, I mean, data ritual language command that is select, select command. I don't want to display all rows and all columns. Just I want to display only specific columns. Then we have to mention the column names. We have to project the data. I mean, if you use the star means there is one advantage and one disadvantage by using star. Advantage by using star is it fetch, it fetches the all all the data. I mean, all columns, employee number, employee name, job manager, hire date, etc. I mean, disadvantage means um, it fetches necessary data and also unnecessary data. So I want to project only limited columns. The, um, then we have to mention the column names. Let us try to insert some more 
students into the table. Select statement star refers to all rows and columns. Next, we will discuss about the where class. By using select command, we can fill we can filter the columns. By using where class, we can filter the rows. Let us suppose I want to display the stu student details whose marks is greater than 50. By using where condition, we can display it. We have almost 10 records. Mm. Eight students got, sorry, seven students got more than 50 marks. I want to display the employees who works under department number 30. Then select start from EMP where department number equals to 30.
I want to display the employees whose job is, I mean, salesman. I mean, uh, the data inside the table is case sensitive. Mm, commands are not case sensitive. For example, if I give the salesman in small letter, we won't get output. This is lower case, it executed. Even if I give um, first initial caps also, it is executed. Even if I give caps, also it is executed. I mean, commands are not case sensitive. Suppose um, I will give some of the letters, perhaps some of the letters uh, small like that. Let us see what happens. Even though we are getting so. Commands are not case sensitive. Data inside the table is Data inside the table is case sensitive. Suppose um, I want to display the data whose vendor ID is to from invoices table. Let us see. So let's start from. AP invoices or where vendor ID equals to two. By pressing the right click button, we can get the count like this. We have almost 8,484 rows. Whose vendor ID is two. I want to display the students whose name is Arun. I mean, if you give uh, caps means we will get those rows only. If I give small letters, then we will get the Those records.
one more thing. Uh, every SQL command should be ended with semicolon. I mean, in told, suppose if we write In told it doesn't work. We need to give the one la one line gap between two commands. Otherwise, it doesn't work. This is mandatory in told. In SQL developer, it works fine. No, no need of one line gap here. Whether it is SQL developer or Toad, um, SQL Starbless, whatever it may be, I mean, um, command should be ended with semicolon. Now we will discuss about logic operators. And R not. These three are logic operators. Other than these, we have um, some more operators between in, like, is, null. Let us discuss and operator. When all the conditions are true, then it displays the data. Let us see example. I want to display the employees whose salary is greater than 2000 as well as job should be manager. For this, we have to write, write the where. Where condition. Salary should be greater than 2000 and job should be manager. This is case sensitive, so we have to give in the caps only because in, an, in the employee table, all the characters are in cap capital letters only. We rows fetch. 
I am adding one more condition to the above query. Department number should be 10. Only one row is displayed. Who is having 2000 above um, salary and he, he should be the manager. He works under department um, number 10. So it is searching only one row. All the conditions should be true whenever if you use the and operator. Next again coming to our operator. It displays the data if any of the conditions are true. It displays the data if any of the conditions are true. I want the employees who are managers as well as clerks. Then we, we, we go for our operator. Here it is displaying seven rows. Let us check individually. We have three rows who are managers. Who are clerk, clerks? We have four four records. If any of the condition is true, it displays the data. I mean, our operator. Not operator. Uh, Itself, it is saying the uh, negation data. It is used to display the negation data. Let us check for employees who is working under department number 10. We have 14 records in employee table. I mean, who is working under department 
नंबर टेन में We have three three employees who is working under department number ten. Negation means remaining remaining all records we need to get where non department number equals to ten. We are getting eleven records. That means twenty and thirty. Just I'm making a small thing, adding the not operator here. It is displaying eleven records. Even you can write not like this also. You can use this symbol for not operator. Same eleven eleven records fetched. Other than department number ten, we are getting twenty and who are working under twenty and thirty departments. We are getting the employee details. Now coming to between operator. When dealing with range of values, we use the between operator. Between lower limit and upper limit. Learn. Let us display the employees whose salary is between two thousand and three thousand. Even these lower limit and upper limit are included in the output. This is the syntax column name. Now coming to the in operator. It displays the va va rows which matches with list of values. Display the rows which matches with 
stop values. Just like it is a replacement of R operator. Any of the conditions true. Same. We are getting the employees who are managers as well as clerks. It is displaying seven rows. Same output we are getting by using our operator. I want the employees who are working in department number 10 as well as department number 20. If any of the condition is true, it displays the data. If it matches with, I mean, we are providing the list of values 10, 20. If it matches with any value, it, it displays the record. I want to display the employees whose commission is null. This is wrong. Commission equals to equals to null equals to if you use equals to operator, it is expecting the value in the right hand side. Null is not a value. So we won't get data. Instead of this equals to null, uh, we have to use the is null command. equals to operator does not work with 
நல்ல வேல்யூ This one should be used instead of equals to null. I want to display the data whose commission is not null. Zero is a value. Zero is a value. But null is not a value. We can use not operator before the column name also. Same records, it will be fetched. Both are same. I want to display the employees whose commission is not null and also whose commission is not equals to zero. then three rows will be fetched because we don't want the commission who are whose commission is zero whose commission is null Now, next coming to the like operator. It displays the rows which are matching with pattern. Like operator is used with two ca two special characters. Those are percentage underscore. Percentage stands for many characters 
underscore stands for one character. Let us see with the examples. We have the employee names, King Lake. Employee name, which starts with the letter A. Then, we can use the like operator with the special character percentage. Aaron and Adams. So we are getting the we are fetching the records whose employee name starts with A. Okay. Let us see whose employee name ends with letter N. Let us check. Alan and Martin. I want to display the rows whose employee names are Alan. Clark, Blake. I mean, for all three employees, the second letter is L. So that we can use the underscore operator. I mean, underscore means it stands for one character. We don't know the first character. So we are using underscore. Second letter is, we know the second letter. That is L. Next remaining characters, we don't know. So we are using the percentage. I mean, percentage means many characters. It stands for. Blake, Clark, and Alan. These are the employees whose second letter is L.
I want to display the employees whose third letter should be R. And we don't know the first two characters, so I am using two underscores. Third character is R. And we don't know remaining letters, so I am using percentage. I want to display the employees whose last last but one character should be E. Turner. Miller. Yellen. Jones, who's lost but one character. It means we don't know the first. Uh, characters so we are using the percentage we know only last but one character that is the i mean we have to give the last character should be underscore we don't know the last character we can use this like operator by using these two special characters, percentage and ampersand. Next, we will discuss about the distinct keyword. It gives, by using this keyword, it gives the unique values. I mean, we have 14 records in the EMP table who is having department numbers like 10, 20, 30. Suppose if I use the distinct keyword, Suppose if I use Dixon keyword and uh, department number 10 column. I mean, it, it is giving unique values. I mean, it is avoiding the duplicates by using Dixon keyword we can get the unique records.
by using distinct keyword, different types of values will be displayed. Even by uh, null will be displayed. Different types of jobs will be displayed by using distinct. Now again coming to the DML commands. Insert, update, delete, and merge. Yesterday we discussed about insert command with two syntaxes. Now we are going to discuss about update and delete. By using update command, We can update the existing record. We can update the existing data. Every update statement must have set and equals to sign. These two are mandatory. It works with only one table. Uh, update command does not work on two tables. Here we having Smith salary is 800. I want to update the uh, Smith salary to 1000. Update table name. Set the sal equals to 1000. Where e name equal to employee name equals to Smith. It is updated.
I want to change the job of Scott to Hatcher as he is an analyst now. First. Suppose if we have two Scots, then we have to, I mean, identify the row with the unique value. So uh, better we have to use the employee numbers, employee IDs. These will be unique all the time. Job equals to HR. Where employee name equals to Scott. Suppose if we have two scones, uh, better to use the employee number to update the job. By using update command, we are updating the existing data. Suppose if I want to update two columns at a time, yes, it is possible to update it. Smith's job should be, I mean, manager as he is a clerk. And again, salary should be 4,000. Now he is getting 1,000. Then update MP. Job equals to. Manager. Sal equals to 4,000. Where employee number equals to 7369. As the job is updated, manager and salary is 4,000. By using update statement, we, we can update the existing data. Now coming to the delete command. which is used to delete the complete row.
from the table. Structure will be available. Only date record is delete will be deleted by using the delete command. from table where condition I want to delete the employees who are managers. Their job equals to now we are getting only 11 rows I want to delete the employees whose commission is null. Whose commission is null, those records are deleted. Suppose if I if I doesn't give the where condition, it deletes it deletes all records. It deletes all the rows from the table. Structure will remain same. Only rows are deleted. Let us see. Employee number, employee name. This is the structure. It is available. Only records are deleted. Even for a uh, same update, if I doesn't give the where condition, it updates the all records. So it's all equals to 5000. If it doesn't give me, doesn't give where condition, it updates all the employees to, uh, all the employees salary to 5,000. Now coming to the merge command, it is a combination of insert and update. Later we will discuss about this merge command. Now let coming to the functions. Two types of functions we have. One group functions. Two scalar functions. Group functions is also called as multiple row functions.
scalar functions is also called as single row functions. First, we will discuss about the group functions. These are the sum, average, min, max, count. Group functions means it acts on the group of rows. It doesn't work on single row. It works on the multiple rows. And it manipulates the data and gives a value. First, coming to the sum function. I want to display the total salary of all the employees. Then we will use the sum function. Oh, sorry. Data is deleted. We don't have records in that employee table. Just give me a minute. I will insert the data. Okay, data is inserted. I want to display the total salary of the employees. So we are using the sum function. Suppose if I apply the sum function on department number, then it is meaningless. Whenever you applied a, um, this group functions on a column, it doesn't check whether it is a valid statement or not. 
it gives the i mean if you are applying sum of department number column it gives the total of the total value of that particular column This is the meaningless comments. Total value of all the reports. This place. Total value of a particular column. Average value of a particular column. Suppose I want the average salary for for only department number ten. This is our average salary. It gives minimum value of the particular column. It gives maximum value. Count means it returns the number of rows present in the table. I want to display the maximum salary from the employee table. 5,000 is the maximum salary. I want to display minimum salary from the employee table. 800 is the minimum salary. Let us see the number of rows in the employee table. So we can go for count. We have 14, 14 rows in the employee table. Suppose if I apply count on the column name, it returns number of values in that column.
point of formation. We have only four values, 300, 500, 1400, and zero for commission. So it is displaying four by using the count, count of column names, count of commission. Suppose if I apply the count on job column, here job is repeating. I mean, president. Even those are duplicates. Uh, duplicates are also values, so it is counted. Here we are getting 14. Other than null, remaining are counted. I will create one table without records. Let us see what happens. We don't have records in the table. Suppose if I apply count, it gives zero. Even if I apply column name also, it gives zero because we have no records, because we don't have records. If table is empty, then count is zero. Let us discuss about one more command. Dual table. If you are writing a select statement, but it is not specific to any table, in that case, we need, we need to use the dummy table. Calculations is not... Uh, uh, related to employee table, it is not related to student table, it is not related to AP invoices, SOL table. Um, uh, I mean, in, in that case, we use the dummy table. Suppose I want to perform the uh, calculation. Can I get no error? It is not related to specific table. In, in this case, we have to use the dual table. I want to display the sys date.
by using this dual dummy table, we can you we can display the sys date. Today, I mean date is not today's date is not spec specific to any other table employee student like that. It's not related to a specific table. Then we go for dual table. Today we have we discussed about select command, logic operators, and DML commands update and delete. And also group functions. Let us discuss the scalar function, single row functions tomorrow. We can wind up the class for today's session. Hello. Shall we close for today? Uh, Ma'am, can you explain dual once again? Yeah, sure. I mean, um, this is not, uh, it is not related to specific table. If you want to perform any calculations, something else, then we can use the dual table. Suppose you want to display the system date, then use the dual. If you want to perform any mathematical calculations like this, you can use the dual table. And I mean, it is not based on employee table. It is not based on student table. It is not based on AP invoices, AP suppliers like. So uh, in this case, we are, we can use the dual table. So uh, does the value store in the table named dual or else it's just a... No, just it is temporary. Okay. Still, if you have any doubts regarding today's class and yesterday class, you can... Uh, let us, let me know.
Okay, thank you, Sai. Shall we close? Shall we wind up? Hello. If we don't have any doubts, can we leave? Sorry. I mean, if you don't have any doubts, can we leave? Okay. Thank you. Bye.